and welcome to the Christian Crowd live here on a Monday morning. And this morning, what I'm doing is that I'm actually having two designs that I designed over the weekend. It was the Easter weekend time filming this. And so I was working on different things just to fill in some time and uh, mute myself. And hopefully you can hear me here. So we'll just do a sound check to make sure that we're good. And let's just make sure that we're all decent here. Okay, so you can uh, talk to me if you want to. Um, I'm going to be sharing the screen in just a few moments. And what I've done is that I was at a home decorating store with my friend. Here. And I was at a store with my friend. And there we go, done. And I noticed that there was cookware protectors um, that were there. And I thought, shit, we can crochet that. So um, I decided that I bought one just to get the sizing. And then I wanted to do that. Um, um, I wanted to, to design that. So um, so you can hear me just sound. So I got the first one here. This is the basic design. So it sits in the frying pan um, or cookware. And it just drips over the top so that you can save it. So Daniel is a chef, as probably most of you know, where he's pretty close to it. And so his um, cookware is not cheap. So it's easier just to crochet one of these with a cheap ball of cotton yarn, lily sugar and cream, put it down on it so that we don't scratch the tops. Of course, you don't use your metal um, equipment in your non-scratch frying pans. So I had that design, so that's what I'm gonna do on camera. And then the other one is more fancy schmancy. Um, Daniel says to up it a bit. So um, Wendy was suggesting to use this with um, um, glass cookware so you can see the design. And so that'll be on my list as well. So I'm gonna I'm going to do this one here and I'm gonna leave the pattern in the YouTube membership of the journey membership um, until I'm ready to post it out to the public. And today I'm just doing that crochet diagram for today. So, um, so I have my notes all written out and my diagrams all done so that I can see what they are in the stitch counts. I know not very um, formal stuff, but it is what it is, right? Okay, so you can say hello today. So we have uh, uh, Lolly and Terry and Bonnie and Kareen and Maritza. Um, uh, we have Kelly, uh, Shirley, Bonnie and Wendy and Michelle and Linda to start. So um, so I'm going to be sharing a screen uh, with you in just a few seconds from now. And we're just gonna create the crochet diagram. I know for some of you, you hate the diagram. You can let me know in the comments how you feel about it, but I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> so um, let me just share a screen with you here and we can get designing and get this stuff done. Okay, so we're gonna share a screen. And Let's go with advance and we'll do the portion of the screen. Share and we'll move you guys over. Okay. Let's make you a little bit bigger. Get you out. And so, yeah, so you can talk to me. I can see what you're saying on, on screen, on the one screen here. Um, I have three screens for computers here. So I just, I got one of you going on. So let me just make you bigger so we can see what's going on in the screens. And this is the summer stitch along for this year. So I'm just gonna get rid of that in a second. So we're gonna, um, so we have all the layers done. And so I've already saved it. So we're gonna delete everything out and restart from scratch. There we go, done. Okay, so my name is uh, actually um, Chila. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much uh, for saying that to me. I, I wasn't sure how to enunciate it and I'm not very good with that. So we have Germany in the house, we have Georgia. So you can let me know where you're from. And so the crochet diagrams are something that I learned as a kid, as most of you probably know. And um, what I found with myself is that I'm not a strong reader. So because of that, um, I don't read, um, I can read obviously, but um, I don't always comprehend what I'm reading. So I bought a book when I was a kid and I think the book is behind me here. Um, and so I bought this book and because I'm Canadian, um, 
the book is actually in um, UK terminology, which I didn't know that was different from the US. So anyway, so this is my book from when I was 14 and the entire book had crochet diagrams all throughout. My bus ticket from my first day of college is actually in this book. And um, so anyway, I thought that crochet patterns all had a diagram to go with it. Apparently they don't. So because I'm not a strong reader, that's how I learned. And uh, we'll go from there. So that's my story and I'm sticking by it. So yeah. So, okay, so this is my book from when I was 14. And, and then I just have a crochet diagram to do that. So, okay, so that's where I am mentally today. And the nice thing about the diagrams, because some people are really adamant on social media that they hate them so much, but the nice thing about diagrams is that you don't need to know my language in order to do it. So you can um, basically, essentially not even know a word of English. So it makes us very global when we do the diagram. And uh, so, yeah. So let me uh, get started here. And everything is by rounds in this particular case. And we're going to start off and we need to do, so I have what is called um, as a, um, a diagrams master. So I have stuff already done out. So I need number six. So, um, and every time I add new uh, stuff, I just add it to my master sheet. So we're going to move that to round number one. So round number one is always um, black as far as coloring. And so we're going to move that to round number one. And so we want to keep our layers all separated from each other, sent to the current layer. And then we want to do, um, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay. So there's going to be 12. So we're going to put, we're going to go get a single crochet here. Yeah, bring it back to our document here. So once we get moving on this thing, we're going to get our sizing all done everything is basically eyed out pretty pretty much and i want to create a circle so that i can use it as a as a guide and then we're going to guide this right to the center of the crossing points we're pretty close to it and we're going to change the colors to that so that we can see what it is and we're going to move it to make sure that it's in the grid lines um category there, objects sent to the curve here. Okay, so we're going to move that. Oops, we're going to keep it round. So there is 12. So I'm not going to worry about any of the slip stitching or any of that until the end of the diagram. So we just have to worry about getting things laid out perfectly as much as we can. It's never going to be 100% perfect, which is, I'm okay with that. I'm not a perfect guy. And uh, we're going to just move that over. A little bit. So everything is about the rotation. So everything is all about making the bad boy circle each other. And so we circle it to the center here. And there is 360 degrees divided by 12 single crochets. So we copy it and then we just continue to go around. And so this will be round number one as we go. So now what I want to do is that I want to go to round number two. We're going to go and we're going to get another single crochet from my other document. So I don't want to copy the existing one there because it's on a different round. So round number, this will come in as round number two when I copy it in. And so I'm going to use this as my guide. And we're going to just bring in a little closer and we're going to make this guy a little bit bigger. So we just wanted to follow it right here. So according to my notes, I had this was one single crochet. And then this one here is going to be um, two single crochets. So what I can't do is that I can't see exactly where the stitches are going to align. So what I want to do is just draw another guide here and this guide will show me where I need to go. And so there's going to be a total of 18 points. So we're gonna just 
kind of line these up. So if they're not lining up in the center, you just get it pretty close. And we're going to change the color to green so I can see it. And what we need to do is that we know the next circle is going to be 18 single crochets. So we're going to rotate that around here. So if you're ever looking for information on how to do stuff like this, E.D. Ekman offers a course with this kind of stuff. So there's going to be 360 degrees divided by 18 points. And all I want to do is just see where the center points are going to go. And I just got to do a couple of them. And then I need to move this guy up to match the top. So I know where these guys got to go. So we're going to take a copy of these guys here. So the crochet diagrams are really quite helpful to be able to, to understand where things go in, in, the, in the stitch work. So to me, when I look at them, I look at um, these guys as a, as a roadmap to to the instructions. And so we're gonna copy this and rotate. So the bottom of the stitch is pointing to where it exactly needs to go. And I can adjust these. So what is the problem with the single crochet? The horizontal bar is not matching the revolution of the circle, so it's not matching this. So I want to rotate these guys to match. And if they accidentally bump into each other, we can always just shift them a little bit. So what's the other problem with this at the moment? Uh, round number two should be blue. So we're gonna change these guys to blue. That's just a standard of crochet. And now we gotta just make them all one. So there is gonna be a total count of how many of these uh, going around. There's gonna be six, I think. So we're gonna group these together, make it as a one unit, and then we're gonna copy it and make it go in the circle. So I think there's six of these. Try again. So this is the register point right here. This is the exact center of, of the symbol. And then we're going to copy it 360 degrees divided by six pieces of the pie. And that should line up and it does. Okay, that was round number two, and now we're gonna to go to round number three. So these pieces of pie won't matter anymore. So we're gonna get rid of those. And we're gonna move this guy up. Oops. And we're gonna grab another single crochet from the other document, copy it and come on back. And I wanna to go to round number three over here. And when I paste it, it ends up on round number three and it's already black. So I don't got to worry about it. And according to my instructions, I have the same thing I just did. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just move this guy down. Move this guy up. And so now we need to rotate this and now there's going to be 27 points as we go around in this thing. To the center. Let's try again. 
it's all about the order in which you push the keys on the keyboard. Okay, so 360 degrees divided by 27 single crochets, and I'm gonna copy it. Okay. And now I want to do exactly what I just did. So I'm going to copy this, move it over, and copy another one and move it over. Um, did you say the software I'm using? I didn't. It's uh, called Adobe Illustrator. It's what the professionals use for this kind of stuff. There is not a great crochet program that um, can do stuff like this. Um, there's some basic models out there that can do a little bit of it, but um, as soon as you start adjusting what I'm doing right now, that's when the whole thing falls apart and it doesn't work really well. So this is a skill level all to its own. And because I used to be an engineer back when I came out of college, this kind of stuff makes a lot of sense to me. It's like a blueprint. Um, and so it's a skill that I have that's in my back pocket. And apparently, if you know how to do this, it's actually really good money. Just that um, if you can get a contract for making crochet diagrams, because they're detailed and they take a, a bit of time to do. Okay. So 27 divided by two, is that even an equal number? I don't even know. So I, I don't remember how many points there are. So let's just put these guys together as one and group. So I got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I think I got eight points there. So 360 degrees divided by eight points. No, that's not right. Maybe it's nine points. Let's try nine. I might have miscounted. And it's very possible my design's all screwed up too. So going to the dentist says something there. I know, Kitty Cat. I know. Your life is rough. We're gonna try nine points instead of eight. That's better. And nine times three is 27, so that's right. Okay, so that was round number three. Round number four is next. So we're gonna go and get another single crochet. And we're going to go to round four and copy in. And this guy needs to be black. Or sorry, a blue. Get this guy to be bigger. guys need to go away. Can I ask what the yarn is suitable for? Uh, what, uh, I'm from Malaysia. Um, can I ask what yarn is suitable for a baby blanket? I'm not sure what kind of yarns you have. We just kind of use acrylic here in uh, North America, pretty much. Cotton is a good uh, substitute for um, our American friends that are closer to, I don't know where Malaysia is, but um, sounds like it could be a warm place. 
um, a cotton would probably be best uh, if you have a warmer climate. Okay, so when you have 36 of these guys, I'm going in. Where is Malaysia anyway? 36 degree, uh, 36 points. Get this guy over. So according to my notes, there's two by themselves and then two share the same. So I hope everybody's had a good weekend. It was uh, pretty uneventful here. We just did some shopping and I hung out with my friend Karen a little bit and um, I kind of worked on two designs while I was at her house. Um, I've been doing, I've been, I have a side hobby of miniatures, but I decided not to do that this weekend. I just decided to work on some crochet stuff. So we had a good time. And Daniel's outside working in the yard. It's pond related stuff, so it's just a never ending battle with the pond. We think we have another leak in it. We just replaced the liner. Anyway, just. The nightmare. Okay, so we're gonna group these guys together. So we're gonna group. And I don't so 36 divided by six and divided by three is what? Oh my god, my math sucks. Twelve. So there's 12 points so 360 degrees divided by 12. That's not the right answer. Thirty-six divided by four is nine points. So it's not divided by three, it's divided by four. So it's nine. Let's try that. Out. Three hundred sixty degrees divided by nine points instead of twelve. Oops, that's better. Yeah. So we got that, and now the next one is going to be turning into a hexagon. So now we have to make a hexagon. Okay, so there's how many sides here? So there's eight minus one minus, so there you go. Take that guy around. And so now I've got a the next one, the shape has to go to a rectangle, or sorry, to a hexagon. So we're going to move this to a guideline object. Transfer, we just send to the current layer. And now what round are we on? We're on round number five. So we're going to go get single crochets. Or, no, half double crochet this time. So there's the height that I want. So according to my notes, there is three of those. Okay. 
see if I have a turning corner here. I think I got a turning corner there. Copy it. Quick work, come back. So I'm going to have, I'm going to let the dog in. Just give me a There's nothing going on in here. You don't need to be inside. Go get a drink of water and then you're going back out. Um, Okay, so my issue that I'm having right now is that the alignment is not right. So I'm just going to place where I think it is, and then we'll align it properly after that. And then we have two double crochets to work with over here. This guy. Rotate. And we're going to break these guys apart, ungroup that. So what I'm doing is that I'm guessing the distance. And then what we're going to do is we're going to equally space these guys out. Now that they're equally spaced, I'm going to move that back to the center. So now they're perfectly equal. I'm going to get rid of this guy. I don't know why I'm having trouble grabbing onto that. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to equal out the base of these to match to the stitch below. And because we're now converting it into um, a hexagon. You're going to lie down, Salty. Um, we're just going to make it a little bit longer so that it matches to where the stitches are. So 
So it's a program called Adobe Illustrator, as Wendy just suggested. Um, it's laundry day today, so I'm doing my laundry while I'm here. So my laundry is down on the same level that I work, so I don't I don't have a reason not to do my laundry. Oh, I know. So what I got to do is I got to watch this guy right here. So I'm going to get rid of him. Out and out. So I want to take this guy here. Put together and group it. I don't know where if if this piece will align perfectly, so I'm going to check it first. So there's six sides of this. So we're going to rotate and make six sides, or just make one extra side so we can see where it is. So 360 degrees divided by six sides. Okay, so that's pretty close. So what I'm going to do. Just gonna adjust this guy so he matches better. And we're gonna do it again. So now it's gonna officially be done. Three sixty degrees divided by six. Copy the. So what I have to do now is that I have to watch where all of these guys were. So we're going to lock this last layer into position, and then we're going to rotate everything else. We're going to lock our grid lines. And what I need to do is I need to rotate the center so it matches where so it came through. Chain one. So I, I have to change the so now I'm worried about the um the slip stitch goes there, then it was going there, and that was one, two, three. So we're gonna lock. Three did. I'm drawing, I'm rotating things so that it matches how I drew it. Now we're going to one, two, three. And now we're going to open this all up and rotate it to match that. Oops, I don't know why it's doing that. There. Yeah. 
So now the center is aligned perfectly. And now we're going to um, take this bad boy. So we've got to unlock him. So he's there. And now it's just single crochet. So round number six it is going to be single crochet. He needs to be blue. See if I have a turning corner here. That one. Copy this guy over. So I'm not going to be worried about the spacing yet because I just want to kind of see where things go. So this will be my last round of the hexagon. Space these guys so they're equally apart from each other. Okay, so then these are not lining up with the stitches underneath. So I'm going to move this guy over and match and move this guy over and match. And realign just the center. And because this is the last round, I don't need to worry about that so much. Okay, we're going to get rid of him. We're going to get rid of him. No blowing. Salty. Okay, we're going to group. Oh, you know what's wrong? Um, these guys, let's ungroup these. These guys are not equal distance, ungroup. We're gonna group those and we're gonna find the center point of these guys. Oops. So we'll put this guy and this guy together as a group and find the center point of him. So wait. Uh, so this is my day today so far. So we're going to group these guys and we are going to rotate 
six times. Yeah. by six. Okay. So this is it for the main piece itself. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this guy completely. Oh. We're going to take this to a different section. Oops. Okay. So now is going to be the fun part. If there's such a thing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to expand because we're making, um, for those that are late joining us, we're making um, a cover uh, for uh, a cookware protector. So now I've got to make the diagram to go with the, the ladder shape that you see here on camera. So they are consisting of, so we're skipping the two. So we're gonna go and just grab these and we're gonna ungroup. These guys and we're gonna go up. And we're gonna change them to black. And in this case, I want to Send this to number seven object. Send it to current layer. So this is going to be, um, I don't know, arms one. And we're going to need some stuff over here. We'll grab single, or we'll grab a chain. And we're also going to grab slip stitch. So we're designing today, we're designing um, a cookware cover a protector. I saw it at the, I saw it um, at a home furnishing store this week. So I thought I can design that. I can design one that we could use and I could, you know, I got lots of leftover yarn to play with. So, so I thought, what the hell, I'll try it. I know, Salty, your life is rough. I know. And then we're going to say arms two. two. So we're going to copy these guys and go up. And we're going to move this to arms two. The difference is that that doesn't exist. We're gonna grab some chains over here. We just need three of them.
So if somebody says they're new to crochet, has said they're fairly new to crochet to seeing how it's done. Salty, don't be like that. Yeah, so this layer has to be blue. Do you want to go inside? Let's go inside. Go see, go see. Salty's really vocal. And we're going to move this guy to the other side. So I haven't I actually did the, so the way I design is that I draw it on a piece of paper, um, just sketch it out. And now I'm doing it on a computer and then I will write the instruction. Okay. And now this row here, arms one, is going to be the next layer going up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these guys together. And so there is a total of eight of these. It looks like a ladder. So we're just going to do So this is going to be one, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll grab two more. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to equally space them in the height. I'll bring it down a little bit. And then we'll just equally space out these guys and the, and the height. There goes. We got it. Okay, so we got that. So that's done. And so there is going to be six sides of that. So we're going to group these guys, put them all together as one. Group. And there is six sides. So there's 360 degrees divided by six pieces. So I can just adjust it a little bit if I need to. Salty came back. We have a dog door upstairs, so he just come back through. Salty. Daddy's outside. Okay, so here is that. So what is missing from this now is a final round. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a copy of all of this and do the final round here. this
And now we're going to grab some single crochets. So all my single crochet stuff is all equally spaced out to what it should be when I go to copy it. Okay, so this is the final border. So I have... Equally space that out. These guys. It's 45 degrees. So I'm getting rid of all the um, the chains on the side just for clarity. Salty just wants to hang out with me. I don't think so. Dan is outside. We're gonna have to. Uh, we have to adjust the the pawn liner later, but he's really protective over it, so he lunges if you try to move the pawn liner. So we gotta trap him inside for that, Wendy. He seems to own the damn thing. Okay, so we got that, and now we're gonna go down the side. I'm not sure if that's right, but we'll take a look and see what happens. Oops. That's it right there. And what I should have done too, which I didn't do, is that I need to make these guys all gray.
So why is it gray? Because it exists and we're just giving instruction just for this uh, border. That's why it's gray. So because it is the last round and nothing really relies on this to be too crazy, I can just adjust this guy here and make it work. One day I just got your email. Um, yeah. I was going to film all that stuff and then I just got distracted. And then in this guy here, what did I do? This guy here, I only did. So we're going to just Okay, I'm done. And that's the border. Group. Group. Actually, I should have grouped the whole damn thing. Again, let's group. So I don't know where my center point is here, so I'm just going to guess, and then we'll just move it later. 360 degrees divided by six points. That's my cover. So we've gone from the center to doing the arms to doing the border. Have a great day, Shirley. Um, so we're going to start off with our first one here, and then we're going to start putting in our information. So my words are down here somewhere. So these are all the right um, heights and stuff for my stuff. I'll copy it up and bring it up with me. So what's missing here is the the numbers. Let's see what they need to be black. So we got one.
two, three. Six. So now we have to put in our stuff in there to go with it. And uh, number five is going to be chaining a four. So this guy comes completely out. So we gotta make sure that this guy here aligns with the top of this chain. And this guy here has to be longer. So chaining four to start. Start with the blue. And we need to add a slip stitch here to move him over one. Six. And we're going to hide the grid lines out. This guy is gone. Oh, grid lines is gone. So there's the first. So we need, we've got to get rid of these guys. We have a half, we have a double. This 
these guys have to be centered. These guys have to be aligned to the left. Done. Okay, so we got that. These guys here. I do not need these guys here. One. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Mm -hmm. The other side. Guy a little bit the other way. Maybe two, four, six, eight. These guys align to the other way. Got it. So Tina, I'm reeling her in on this, says her. Okay. So we'll bring this closer. And I'm going to add, it's technically not right, but I'm gonna technically add in copy. Um, see how the three are in the same stitch? I'm just gonna make it clear that that is a, is in the stitch key because somebody's going to ask me that.
same stitch. And the other thing while we're here, we need um, the two together stitch. Single crochet two together. So we got that labeled up, and then we just need that taken over to the diagram to this. Start there. Okay, I think I'm done. Just gonna copy one more thing. And we gotta write the down pattern. I noticed Daniel started to cough a bit. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but And we need a slip stitch at the beginning of that. Oops. It's the border. And we are, we don't need the bottom part of that. Uh, you know what though? Or no, we don't need the bottom part. So we got the three stages here. That can come out. And then we can label up the beginning of this stuff. So we have the middle. You know what's missing? You probably didn't even notice. The slip stitches are missing. When you get back around, you've got to copy these. So slip stitch. Uh, slip, slip, Let's take this one. So the slip stitches have to be the same color as the round it's in. And then we're going to go up here. We're going to do the arms. I don't know what else to call them, arms. We're going to call this the border. Border. Done. So it work. Okay, so um, Daniel's just messaged me. It's time for lunch. And so there is my... Um, stop the share. So there is my thing all in diagram format.
and I will let you go and I hope you have a great afternoon. So I have one more to do, but I'll do that after lunch and